It is the mid-season TWAB, and there will be a lot of details going about, so I'm just going to go and give this in as few words in as few minutes as possible. So, starting from the top, Solstice of Heroes is starting next week. It is the same biz as usual, European Aerial Zone, new Solstice armor, except this time around we have a new shotgun available, especially for Solstice. Looking like it might be Stasis, it might just be another shotgun. Now, Fate Breakers will be able to be achievable pretty soon, with the launch of Master Difficulty Vault of Glass coming next Tuesday as well. Now, it does not have a minimum light requirement, but enemies will be at 1350 and there will be modifiers, and it's basically just going to be Hard Mode Vault. A specific detail to be known is that it is not like before with Hard and Easy Modes with Raids in D1 where you could do Easy Mode and still earn rewards from Hard Mode. It is basically you choose Easy or you choose Hard, you only have one run of loot on all your characters, secret chests, and encounters otherwise. Now, once that is all done, you will be able to actually earn Time Lost, aka Adept versions of Vault Weapons, but a bonus point is that you'll be able to earn them with Spoils when you unlock them. So if your first drop of Adept Fatebringer is not what you want, you can definitely buy it from the Spoils chest with an increased amount of rewards. Moving on from Vault, the sandbox changes that will be coming is summed up as follows. Aggressive Frame Shotgun nerfed, Aggressive Frame Hand Cannons nerfed, and... Dead Man's Tail Hipfire nerfed in addition to a Sleeper buff and possible reworking of special ammo and special weapons in the Crucible. Specifically, shotguns have less range of the aggressive variety as well as less cone angle. Hand cannons will have both less range and they will no longer be able to two tap from a single stack of Rampage. In addition, Hipfire will have not as much range as Aim Down Sight for Dead Man's Tail as well as the aim assist being reduced for that. And Sleeper did not get the damage buff it was so desired when it came to the Linear Fusion Rifle buff last update, but it will be getting a better buff so it stands out a little bit different from other Fusion Rifles. And in addition to everything else, they are working on relaying the lines of special ammo and ammo economies, as well as some perks being reworked, as in Drop Mag will have its functionality completely reworked. It won't be dropping on weapons anymore until it's reworked. Pulse monitor is working correctly in applying a handling buff rewind rounds now work properly so they don't not work if you miss the last round in addition to various other fixes and other items of import being changed with the hot fix next tuesday but if you want full details full knowledge i'm just going to go and let you check the twab or other videos this was the twab in as few minutes as possible and i will see you in the next one